What is up guys? It's Marcy from the Wild Foods team. Today we're going to be talking about cramps and we're going to be talking about PMS and what you can do about them. The thing about it is that we've been conditioned and told our whole lives as women that is um, normal. It shouldn't actually be intolerable pain to where you have to reach for an Advil or a Midol. And the reason so many women these days are having to reach for those over-the-counter drugs is because the foods that they're eating, the month leading up actually contributes to their PMS symptoms later on down the road. Now, I was not born knowing this. I had to learn this through trial and error. And as a person myself, I've been trying to pay more attention to my body and what it tells me when I put certain things in it. So I didn't experiment. I didn't eat any sugar. I stayed away from alcohol and waited to see how I would feel. And as a result, my cramps were probably lessened intensity wise by 50%. I've talked about this a little bit before on one of these screen flows, but basically when you, you know, food is medicine. That's what we believe at Wild Foods. And our bodies are so sensitive to what we put in them. So when you're putting food in your bodies that creates inflammation, it's going to have negative effects. Now, if you're a woman and you're putting foods in your bodies that create inflammation, it's going to make PMS 10 times worse. So my challenge to you guys is to eliminate sugar, alcohol, at least for you know, two weeks leading up and see how you feel because I noticed a huge difference and there is science to back that up. So right here I pulled up an article and it's talking about foods that make PMS worse. And like it says, unfortunately are the ones that you want the most. So all the foods you crave the most when you're on your period are actually the ones most likely to give you the worst cramps, drain your energy, and make you feel bloated. If you want your period pain to be lessened, you'll subsist on fruits, vegetables, and whole grains for a week. I would like to stop it, stop this right there and actually correct this article. Fruit sugar counts as sugar, and our bodies are not capable of processing a lot of sugar. So I would actually recommend staying away from fruit sugar. So let's run through the list of foods to avoid, um, a bigger list of foods to avoid besides sugar before your period. Salty foods, caffeine, dairy products. And I wanted to read about that a little bit. So it says that it should come as no surprise that dairy products can be difficult to digest. Like sugar, they tend to cause cramping, which nobody wants during their at that time of the month. Sugar. Let's, so let's see what they say about sugar. Hold on before you go buy that pint of Ben and Jerry's for you and Aunt Flo. Sugar, while may it sound like a good idea, will actually make your PMS worse. As an inflammatory, sugar causes cramping. Also, the other side of sugar high is a crash, which leads you feeling tired and more prone to mood swings. Another one to avoid is fatty foods, red meat, alcohol, has a ton of sugar. That's just a little list of foods to avoid when you are PMSing or maybe very close to the day. Like I said, I challenge you guys to Eliminate these foods for up to two weeks before the day that you are expected. I hope this helps. I know it's helped for me a lot. You know, it's it's just something we preach all the time here. Food is medicine. Everything that you put in your body has an effect, a cause and effect. So test this out and let us know how it goes. I hope this helped. Bye.